Hello, viewers. Welcome to another episode of our program, Marriage and the Home. I'm delighted, as always, to discuss issues concerning marriage with you. Uh, the issues of marriage is one that is dear to my heart. Uh, there are so many challenges in marriage. And um, I, I know that if you have been watching this program, you would have been gaining a lot. I want to encourage you to continue to watch because uh, there's so many more things that you will learn concerning uh, marriage. If you are having challenges in marriage, not to worry. You are not the only one that is facing this problem. There are so many people out there facing the problem. We just have to find a way around it to see how uh, we can help ourselves. My name is Israel Tajomawo. Um, today we want to discuss a sensitive uh, aspect of marriage. That is the issue of romance. So far we have been talking about how to build a strong marriage. Yes, many marriages are failing and a lot of couples do not know why. And uh, some want to make their marriages better. And we in this episode, in this series, are talking about how to build a strong marriage. And uh, we've had this discussion for a while now. We said that there are 10 components that we want to talk about when it comes to building a strong marriage. Uh, so far, we've talked about four of these components. The first one is uh, building your marriage on a firm foundation. If you want a strong marriage, if you're not married, you have the opportunity to start with a strong foundation. So we said number one is to build on a strong foundation. Number two, we said you have to build with prayers. Yes, whether you are starting or you are already in the marriage, you have to seek the face of God to help you build your marriage. And number three component we said is communication. When there's no communication in a marriage, there's a lot of problems. Yes, and from here, the marriage can fail. And in the last episode, we started to talk about the fourth com uh, component, which is uh, romance. Romance in marriage is very, very important. When I'm talking about romance, I'm not talking about foreplay or the thing that you do about sex. But I'm talking about the things that spice up the marriage, that makes it to be interesting, that makes it beautiful, that makes it enjoyable. And we were able to talk about uh, seven qualities of a romantic person. Today we want to continue on that subject of uh, romance, which is very, very important in marriage. We have talked about the qualities of a romantic person. Today we want to talk about uh, we want to dis discuss how to be romantic. Yes, how can you be romantic? That is what we want to talk about. Yes, it's enough to know about the qualities, but how can someone be romantic? Quickly, I want to say that there are over a hundred ways that you can be romantic. And like I said earlier, the issue of being romantic borders much on the man. Yes, the man is the one that makes the move mostly. Of course, at the early part, when a man is trying to, uh, 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 is trying to, some will say woo a woman or trying to toast a woman, I don't know what language you want to use, at the time you are trying to win the woman over. There are certain things that you do. It's the man that does all these things. It's not the woman. You want to get the attention of the woman, the woman, you want the woman to continue to like you. So, after the mar marriage, we discover that so many men, they sleep. All those lovely things that come to the head that they do for the woman, it doesn't come out again. And then the marriage begins to fail. You must continue in some of these things and find a way to do it better. As a man, you must be innovative in your romance. So we are not going to mention all of them, just a few to help us as a guide. Number one, you must be able to tell your spouse, your wife, that you love her. Occasionally, you have to do that as often as you can. When was the last time you told your wife that you love her? Many of us find it very difficult to say, I love you. You must be able to say, I love you. It sends a lot of signal to the woman. It makes her to understand that you really appreciate her. And when you say, I love you, you must mean it. I'm not saying if you tell a woman, I love you, and the next minute, you turn her into a punching bag. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying that you tell a woman that you love her, and the next minute you are mean, you say harsh things 
to her. You must mean it. When you say, I love you, it must show in your attitude. So, tell your wife you love her. Number two, tell her all the reasons that makes you to love her. Of course, there are things you see that makes you to love her. Tell her, I love that beautiful smile. I love the dimple. You know, I just love the way you walk. Oh, your skin is so soft. Say something. There must be something that really attracts you. Tell her, you know, you have a nice ass. There are some things you tell a woman that, you know, kind of moves her. Yes, you should be able to do that. You have to be sensitive about it. I think I've said much about that. Number three, you can sing love songs. I know not all of us know how to sing, but there are some love, love songs, you know, that we learned back in the days. You have to revive those songs in you and sing to her. Yes, make her happy. It's part of it. I can remember back in my own time, I would sing some songs to my wife and she'll be so excited. Yes, sing love songs to your wife. It's a good one. Number four, call her when away from home. All of us will have to go to work sometime. And when you go to work, we are so buried in our job that we don't have time to call. You can put a call across. It means a lot. It makes you part of her. Yes, she feels your presence even when you are not there. Some of us, our case is so bad that we are away at work, we don't call. We even come home and we bring work home. And we are there, it's as if we are not there. You must learn to be present. Put a call across to her when you are away at work. The other one, that is uh, number five, make out time to gist with her, even in the kitchen. You can go to the kitchen and sit with her when she's cooking. What are you cooking there? You know, look inside the pot and say something sweet to her. Or say something about you, what happened during the day at work, or what you experienced on the way. Say something just with her, so it goes a long way. Number six, you can hold her from behind in the kitchen. Yes, surprise her. You know, rest your head on her neck and just, yes, try to make yourself close to her. You are one. These things, they go a long way to create some kind of spark, some kind of emotion. In the woman you have to be able to do all these things these are very sweet things that you do that makes a woman happy number seven occasionally buy her gift you know all the ones i've been talking about now did not even involve money so you can see it's not so hard for you to be romantic yes this is the one that has to do with money you must make some little sacrifice i'm not saying you must buy her the whole world or buy an expensive gift something simple if you have been romantic from the, part, from the beginning, she will appreciate it no matter how small. Buy a wristwatch or something. Not It doesn't have to be something expensive. Something that she will see and make her feel that you really appreciate her. It can be any gift. You have to be creative about this. Think about this. What do you think that she likes? Huh? So you buy her. Number eight, occasionally take her out. Yes, sacrifice again. Sometimes you have to spend some money. Maybe, maybe when you just collect your salary. I know this period things are hard, but sometimes you have to close your eye and do these things. You want your marriage to be strong, isn't it? Make some sacrifice. Take her out once in a while. It's not something that you do all the time so that eh, you both can be happy. Number nine, always remember her birthday. This is one that a lot of men don't remember. They don't even remember their own birthday. So remember her birthday and wish her happy birthday. Very early in the morning, you can even wake her up on the bed and say, happy birthday to her. It goes a long way. It doesn't cost you anything. Number 10, remember other important dates about your spouse. Maybe anniversaries. It could be your wedding anniversaries. It could be some other important occasions about the family. It's good that you remember these things. It will go a long way to also make her feel that you are a part of her. You are a part of her activities. You are a part of the her family. Yes, number 11. This one is interesting. Here I say, be gentle and have emotionally connected sex. Yes, when you are going to have sex with your wife, you don't have to be in a hurry. Eh? You know how to make foreplay. You know how to touch her. You can even start from gisting. Don't be in a hurry. Have a gentle and uh, uh, emotionally connected sex with your wife. All right? Number 12, do not fall asleep immediately after sex. Try to gist a little bit, you know.
try to hear from her how she enjoyed it you know uh at least have a feel of her emotion to know what she's going through don't be in a hurry number 13 always observe her dressing and make good compliment about her dressing a lot of us are not sensitive when it comes to our wife's dressing we don't look at what they wear women appreciate all these things look at what they wear and make good compliments about your wife dressing also number 14 give her compliments when she wears a new hair yes even me i failed in this area uh, on many occasions until i come to learn you must be able to know when your wife is wearing a new hair and give her good compliments 15 watch and discuss movies with her sometimes it may be movies that you don't like you have to find out what movies the two of you like or sometimes you have to compromise and watch some of the movies that you like and then you will be able to discuss with each other and get closer be playful with her number 16 push her in sensitive areas when no other person is present you can go from behind touch her you can touch her butt or something you know sensitive areas make her smile you are playing with her is important number 18 you must support in house chores. some of us are too manly we don't want to support they want the woman to do everything to kill herself yes you don't have to be too manly in this case if you want your marriage to work you have gone to work your wife has gone to work she comes back you fold your legs and put on the table and then she goes to the kitchen she will cook she will wash and do so many other things you have to support her in whatever way you can it's romantic when you do that she's happy about it yes when you know she's going to have a hard day put a call across to her you should be able to read her mood and know she's not happy or she is having some issues in work put a call across to her and ask how are you doing were you able to resolve that problem how did he take it how did she take it so that uh, you'll be able to uh, make her happy and lastly Plan a romantic getaway if you can afford it. Yes, if you can afford it, you can plan a romantic uh, getaway. Go to the beach, go to the spa, wherever you want to go to. You know, a uh, holiday, something. You and your wife alone and enjoy yourself. Like I said at the beginning, there are so many ways to be romantic. But I want to leave you with this few. Being romantic is being innovative. You have to be able to think of ways of surprising her or of making her happy that is what it's all about and if you are able to do that you're able to build a strong marriage i hope you've been able to gain something from this exercise i want you to continue to watch you continue to learn we have so many things we want to tell you if you have not subscribed look at the button below that says subscribe and hit on that uh, subscribe button i also will appreciate it if you can share to other people so that they can benefit from it till i come your way again next time i want to appreciate all of you for watching and i say thank you do have a lovely day bye